Alrighty, doing some Roll for the Galaxy to learn how to play this. The very first thing you do in Roll for the Galaxy is decide which way you want your starting world in development. You must have one of each, but both of these tiles are two-sided. So I can keep Shipping Affinity, which would allow me to reassign workers to ship. I can keep the New Vinland, which has a novelty die straight to my cup. And it has a trading price of three on a novelty world. Or I can flip them over and turn that novelty world into Galactic Investors and turn that development into Deep Space Symbionts. These are expensive. This is actually a really good tile. But for the sake of just learning to play the game, I'm going to cheap choose the cheap ones. Everyone gets a starting world and faction. So my starting faction allows me to do reassign developments with one fewer die. So this shipping has this little reassign symbol in it. Um, that's what a reassign looks like is this little loop-de-loop -loop thing and it allows you to keyword bold reassign this would only cost me one to complete since it costs one less I also have a gene die in my cup I have a good on my world ready to go and that's it so then he just needs to select his tiles and we're good to go okay once you start a turn you take all the dice that were in your cup and you roll them then you select a phase. Selecting a phase means picking one die from anywhere. In this case, maybe I want to pick ship and move it up into ship. Yay! Now, I'm going to make sure the shipping action goes off. The other actions that will go off will be whatever action he picks, which is secret until the end of the turn or end of the reveal phase. I need all my dice assigned first. Or um, what the home die rolls. In a two-player game, you roll an additional white die, which has two explorer, one develop, one settle, one produce, one consume on it, and whatever it rolls, that phase will also go off for everyone. So you can kind of gamble on the home die or your opponent allowing you to do multiple actions. Now each die is a little different. You'll notice these home dice, I already talked about their distribution of the die. If I hover over the green, this one has two of the circles for settle, one of the produces, and it has two stars. A star means once I've selected my action, I can move this die anywhere I want, to any action I want to accomplish. Then the novelty here is all about producing and shipping. It's got two produce, two ship, and one star, and it's got one explorer. I think everything has at least one explorer on it, actually. Don't quote me on that. Now, Time to see what he is going to pick. In fact, I should probably look at what he has before I do that. Oh, goodness, he has two goods on world, so he might actually want to do ship. So here's something I can do. I wanted to ship this just to get a good and try to get ahead of him on some money. Instead, I'm going to pick explore and hope that he ships for me because it's very likely that he is going to try to ship those goods since he has two of them. We'll find out once I accept what I've done with done. I'll get to dictate in the next turn. Alright, dice are revealed. He had picked ship, I was right, and I picked explore, but also this home die over here rolled ship, so ship would have went off even if neither of us picked it. Alright, when you explore, you get two options. You can scout or stalk. But before you scout, you actually have the freedom to select something that you already have and abandon that tile. Now, if you do, you must scout. You can't change your mind or get the tile back. But when you scout, instead of picking one tile and choosing from it, you pick multiple tiles. So I'm going to put an asteroid belt and free trade association down. This is a six cost development, so it's worth six points to build, but it also has this during final scoring thing. Add half of your total novelty world cost rounded up. So I already have two, that's a bonus point. Here's another two I'm about to build, that's another bonus point. These six cost developments can become huge, but you need six die on them all at once. Now they don't have to get there in a single phase, I'll show you that as well. I'm actually going to use the rest of my dice to stock. I have things to build now, but when I go to this, I was originally going to trade it for money. I can trade a novelty blue for three, a rare elements for, uh, brown for four, 
a jeans green for five and a yellow alien technology for six or I can consume it for victory points. The victory point number changes and people sometimes find this confusing. It's all about how much matching synergy you have. Let me see if I can get it off of this. I can't. All right, you have the color of the world, which will always match itself because it is the world. So the base value for any ship is one victory point. But if the die that you have on that as a good is the same color, you get an additional victory point. If this die that I'm shipping with was also the same color, so if this was a uh, blue die, I would be able to get three victory points. There's one small exception to this color. There's a thing called a consumption die. A consumption die is purple, and I don't see any examples of them right now, but the little purple consumption die gives you as if it's the color of any world. That's all it's there for is to help you consume for points. So I'm going to take two victory points. Yay! He's going to ship probably for a lot of money because that's what you do when you start with two worlds with stuff. Yeah, he just got nine money and then he spent six of it on his dice. I only have five money and I have seven dice in my citizenry. In order to use your dice every turn, you must buy them back. You must pay these workers. Each worker costs one, so if I click on this, it'll cost me one to get it back. If I click on this, it'll cost me one. But notice, if all the dice are the same type, so I'm going to buy one blue, it automatically buys as many of the white as I could afford, any of the remaining, and takes me down to zero. At the end of the turn, once I hit done and accept that that's what I wanted, I can't undo, by the way, just accepted that I was done with returning dice, I get one money back. Every turn, you always have one extra money available. Um, that's basically it. Now, let me show you, I promised I was going to do this, that you can do this development piecewise. So I have two dice on develop now, one from the star. I can move it anywhere I wanted, one from choosing the action. I am also going to choose dictate. Dictate is an automatic reassign power every single person starts with. You may place one dice in the cup, and after doing that, move any dice to any phase. So I'm going to move this over to develop here. And now I have three dice in develop, even though none of them started on develop. So that was good, right? Right? Was that good? Let's just pretend that was good, okay? Good stuff is good. And then once both of us have selected, and I don't forget to hit done. Okay, dice are revealed. He picked explore, I picked develop. So we're all going to actually get to use all of our dice. None of us had any extra in these other phases. Any of the phases that hadn't go, gone off, we would have put a die back into the cup instead of to the citizenry for anything unused. Um, explore, I'm going to get some money. He's going to do whatever he's going to do with his actions. Which is apparently to completely max his money and take a new tile. Alright, well I just helped him finish a tile. He managed to follow, develop, and get this public works one done because he had a die there. We on the other hand have three dice here. I can click on these and recall it to the cup. This can be from a development in progress, a world in progress, or a good on a world. You don't have to ship them or consume them. You can just return them to your cup. That's a really important thing to know about the game. But I'm going to leave all three of those there because I want to finish this development. And in order to finish the development, I need to end up with three dice on it. Well, here's the rub. I can only get two there. So this is going to be a painfully slow process. It's going to be a very, very bad thing for me. Nothing is going well. But that's just because I'm not picking good strategy. I'm just trying to show you how to play the game. I, I promise I'm better than this. You heard me. I'm better than this. You got it. All right. So the home die chose explore. So explore goes off. He gets to do his thing there. Then develop goes off. I add two more dice to free trade association. It's basically ready to go. 
he uh, he chose to produce, so he's making goods again. Then both of us return the dice that we can afford. I only have two dice left, but I'm guaranteed to be able to put one of them onto finishing this development, which was a terrible, terrible plan. But still, I've got it now. Yay, development is going to be done. So everyone must do explore. And then develop goes off. He makes a development. I have the six die, so Free Trade Association finishes and is done. Now, for the rest of the game, anytime ship goes off, even if I don't ship any goods, this is, does not say for each good you ship, it just says if ship goes off, get two money. Also, at the end of the game, I'll get bonus points for all of these novelty worlds. Yay! Um, I've talked about trade value, I've talked about consumption. Okay, end of the game. Just like Race for the Galaxy, the game ends when all 24 victory point chips are gone for a two-player game. It's 12 per player, so 36 for 3, 48 for 4. And if a player hits 12 tiles in their tableau, you'll always start this with three tiles in your tableau anyway. The starting homeworld slash faction, and then a different homeworld. I guess it's really a faction card that has a world and a development and this. All the starting tiles are special and specific, so you'll never have these mixed into the bag that you can draw from when scouting. Um, that's basically all you need to know to be able to play a role for the galaxy. I hope you enjoy it. Go do some rolling.